Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Modern cancer studies have implicated alcohol in a variety of different cancers. But is that really the full story? Today, I'm going to give you both sides of the controversy. To show you the first side, I went to the absinthe bar to interview a patron about his thoughts on the link between alcohol and cancer. Hello, sir. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Sure, buddy. Can you have a beer? Uh, no, thank you. That's all right. Why not? I'll put some hair on your chest. To see the other side of the story, I went to interview Dr. Edward Coli, a specialist on alcohol-related cancers. Is it true that beer puts hair on your chest? No, beer does not put hair on your chest, but it does put cancer on your chest and other places. In fact, 3.5% of all cancer deaths in the U.S. are alcohol-related. So do you think that moderate alcohol consumption poses a risk to your health? Absolutely not. Let me, let me, t let me tell you why. I took biology in high school, and the teacher man told me that alcohol is a cleansing agent, and it kills bacteria and weaker cells and just lets stronger cells strive. It's, it's just it's evol it's evolution, man. That's it. Do you think that moderate alcohol consumption poses a risk to your health? Moderate alcohol consumption can increase your risk of cancers by as much as 20%. Research shows that any more than one drink per day can exhibit a dose-response relationship with colorectal, breast, laryngeal, stomach, liver, and esophageal cancer. What do you have to say about the overwhelming evidence linking alcohol to cancer? That's nonsense. I'm going to tell you why. My brother's uncle's dad's cousin's sister-in-law has a kid who has a brother who has a dad who drinks three beers a day. How come he doesn't have cancer? How does science explain that one? Huh? So what do you think about people who drink and don't get cancer? While alcohol consumption does not guarantee cancer, it does increase the risk. Anecdotes from dubious sources should not factor into your decision-making process. Do you have any other thoughts on this controversy? Oh, uh, controversy? Let me tell you something. How can you even call it a controversy when on one side, it's obviously full of nonsense. It's full of bullshit. Let me tell you, let me tell you something about Big Pharma. Big Pharma is hiding the cure. You listen to me. Big Pharma is hiding the cure. You don't even... You don't even know. Is it true that Big Pharma is hiding the cure for cancer? What? That's ridiculous. How can you even ask me this question? Shit. Turn off the camera. Turn it off. So there you have it. You've just heard from two credible sources on alcohol-related cancer. The final question is for you. The next time someone puts a drink in your hands, which expert will you believe? So do you think that moderate alcohol consumption... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs>